Good afternoon everyone. I'm going to be doing another little single meal ration pack review for you today. Just sat out in the back garden. It's a nice Sunday, about midday now I think it is. Candice has been staying over, so uh, she's here as well. Say hello. What's that? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. She's going to uh, be trying a bit of this stuff out with me. She doesn't want to be on camera though because she's having a fat ugly day, apparently. <laughs> I don't think that, but she's like, no, don't put me on camera. Anyway, so the, so the one we're going to be reviewing today is British Army. It's a single meal ration pack. This is menu number nine. So I've bought a few of these before. I've done sort of another menu before. This is, instead of the 24 hour wrap packs, they do these single meal and sides. I think they're pretty cool. So let's have a look in it. I've already opened it up just to have a, a butcher's at the contents. We've got our accessory pack, which is pretty standard. What you normally get in these single meal ones. You've got the spoon, as you can see. Pretty sturdy sort of spoon. Um, you got that. We've got 3-in-1 coffee, which Candice is going to be trying. She wants coffee. We're going to be having a 3-in-1 tea, 18 grams, 18 grams of coffee as well. We've got a big alcohol-free wet wipe, <laughs> moist towel, whatever you want to call it. Standard pack of tissues you always get. And we've got two sticks of spearmint gum. On to the contents of the wrap pack itself. We've got some stem ginger oat biscuits you usually get about five of them in a pack this is all beyond the beaten track stuff that supplies a lot of the stuff to the British Army we've got some tropical fruit and nut mix some of this stuff is similar to what we had at Hunsdon on our day walk um, it was really really good stuff so I'm looking forward to this one there is two beyond the beaten track fruit flavoured energy drink powders apple flavor I've had that before in a, another wrap pack and they're really tasty there's two of those so it's one for each of us there's a caramel cereal bar good bit of breakfast there is some um, raisins sultanas and currants fruit mix 75 grams and then the main meal which has got an FRH flameless ration heater is pasta bolognese minced beef with pasta and tomato sauce not had this one before looking forward to that should be pretty good and finally we have our FRH oh and the menu and the questionnaire thing so yeah enough yakking let's get snacking <laughs> right first off let's get the pasta bolognese and it's FRH. Candice is filming by the way, she's doing a cracking job. Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> right, that's that going. It took a little while just to activate it, but I'm trying to keep it sealed and should be the one that does it. He says. Yep, yeah, that is lit. Just leave that to do its thing. Right, next thing is the three in one coffee. Let's get that thing made up ready. So it's got, I don't know if you'd be able to see in there or not. Yeah. You've got the creamer and everything in there. Nice smell. Candy says she wants this strong, this, this coffee. So we don't know what it's going to be like. It might be, it might not be, but I think the last one we had, what was that like, a Hunston? That was... Weak. Weak, it was weak. Right, okay, so we're probably going <laughs> to need some more coffee then. Right. And then I'll get a... Once that's boiled, I'll put my 3-in-1 tea in there. We'll quickly try out the 
cereal bar, which is caramel flavoured. I've had one of these before. And that's it there. Sticky. It's good. Pretty tasty. Mmm. Can we try a little bit? Alright. In case you're wondering why I never offer Candy so much food, because she's diabetic. So it's not because I'm not being a gentleman. I do offer her the food, but she just can't eat. And they've got high content of sugar. High content of sugar. These um, rat packs and MREs. So yeah. we just have to be careful with how much mm -hmm. she eats. But just in case she was wondering why I eat <laughs> all the food and she doesn't, you know. Mm. So yeah, now the cereal bar is really good. It's not overly chewy, it's very sweet, very sticky. Um, you've got some like, oats and raisins in there and stuff as well, I think some sultanas. Mm. It's pretty good. Um, next thing we'll have a look at is our drink mixes. All right, so this is apple flavoured energy drink that Beyond the Beaten Track do is probably my favourite one so far actually of all the different flavours I've tried. So we'll put them in a glass so you can sort of see, you can see a lot of sugar in them as well. So it's really nice strong apple smell. Oh, see if you can smell that. Mm. Candice has got a limited sense of smell as well by the way so um but if it's strong enough, you'll smell it. Yeah. It's great for me though, because like my farts go undetected. <laughs> so I can fart as much as I want. Is it good? Like really nice, yeah. Like it's like not overly strong, but it's it does leave this like white kind of slight foamy sort of thing on top. Go and have a sip, see what you think. That's quite nice. Oh, a very sweet for you, isn't it? Yeah. Because if anyone that watches these is diabetic, and you'll know that anything that's like mildly sweet tastes really, really sweet. Whereas like mm. me. <laughs> not being diabetic to me it just tastes like normal whereas candies be like oh it's so sweet and stuff yeah. and it's but yeah oh, you yeah. control how much you have you know it's uh mm. it's nice though mm. it's almost like normal like fresh apple juice really mm. just woo to give you a bit more energy right so yeah that's the drinks we're just waiting for the water to boil and we'll crack out the teas and coffees and the main should be ready as well, the pasta bolognese. I'm looking forward to that. Mm. Alright, next we'll have a look at the raisins, sultanas and currants fruit mix, 75 grams. Get these out into a bowl. Oh, drop one already. Man down. Man down. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll also have a look at the tropical Tropical fruit and nut mix. Mm. This one was really nice when we had this before. Absolutely blinding. Look at that. It's some um, like bits of banana in them, and I can't remember what else. Raisins and a few peanuts by the looks of things. Some yeah. chops around them. Perfect combination. The the dry bits of banana are absolutely brilliant. And then, then we've got our is it raisins, sultanas, mm. mixture. Oh, man down. <laughs> Second man down. Hmm, yeah, lovely. Oh. 
missing my mouth at the moment. It's an eating disorder. Mm. I mean, they're nothing like completely different, but they're good. You mm. know, they're really tasty. I think we've got a boil on, so let's get our water out. Mm. This is Candice's coffee, three-in-one coffee. I'll boil up some water for my tea in a minute. Well, it smells strong to me, but to mm. you it's probably going to be fairly weak, so... Mm. But, um, we'll let it cool down first, have a sip, and if it's a bit too weak, we'll add some coffee in from at home. <laughs> yeah. And cheat a little bit. Right, we've got another boil on for our three-in-one tea. Tea, you can just about see it, yeah. Mm. Mm, smells like tea. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, anyway. Roughly about the same amount of water as Candice's 3 in 1 coffee. The ginger stem oat biscuits, we'll dunk them in those as well. Right, let's plate up our main meal, which is that pasta bolognese. Looking forward to this. Ooh. Smells good. Better just see that in there. Right, let's get it out on the plate. Little plates, we'll see how big the serving is. It smells really good. Ah, it's also got a little gusset on the bottom, which is useful to stand it up if you're eating out of this. Thought I'd mention that. Sort of a bit like the tomato pasta salad, mm. really, same sort of pasta that's in it, right? I'll give it the first taste, shall I? Go on. That's really good. Is it? Mm. Very grainy, you can taste like all the individual bits of the beef and stuff. The tomato is perfect. The pasta's really good as well. Mm. I mean, I suppose it's not going to be as good as a normal spag bowl, but you know, if you was, I don't know the army or he's out camping or whatever, walking. It tastes like home. Yeah. It's like home comforts, isn't it? Definitely. Better than just eating super noodles anyway. <laughs> mm. Can I let you have a little bit? Try a bit? Yeah. Go on in. Right, Candice is tucking into a bit now. Can't show her face. Fat, ugly day. It's really nice. She looked beautiful, really, but you know, that's <laughs> what she thinks. Anyway, really nice, is mm -hmm. it? Yeah? Yeah. Anything else to say on it? Sort of textures and. Nice. Just nice, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't care. That's all that matters, yeah. Nice, no, decent. Right, we're going to share this then. Um, and we'll have some of those gin ginger stem oat biscuits. And we'll try out. The well, she's had the coffee. I'm gonna try out the tea in the big pot mm. as well. But yeah, that's pretty decent looking. Okay. Right, as you can see, we've finished all the pasta bolognese. It was really, really nice. I mean, it was Candice was like he's quite high in sugar, so I had the majority of it. Got a butterfly hovering around us. I'll probably finish off the the raisins and sultanas and the tropical fruit and nut mix at work, but. It is very, very nice indeed, so that'll keep me going later on today. My tea has cooled down enough now to drink it. And it's tea, nothing really to write home about. Um, personally, yeah, the, it's got the right amount of sugar in it, etc, etc. I'm quite happy with it. Let's try some of the biscuits, so... First off, let's try them on their own. 
Mm. I'm not usually a fan of like ginger biscuits, but these are decent. Nice warming effect at the end, you know, aftertaste. Mm. And let's try them in the tea. Hold their shape well, it's good. They're definitely designed to be dunked. Mm. They go really well together. Um, I don't know what it would be like with the coffee. Have you got any more of your coffee left? Yeah. Yeah? Try a little bit of that. I think they actually taste better dunked in the coffee. They go better together, I think. Mm. Hmm. I mean, the thing is, with a lot of these, um, excuse me, these smaller ration packs, you can spread the food out over, you know, maybe a 24 hour period or a bit more, mm. you know, that would be your dinner of course, you could have like for breakfast, you could have the cereal bar, you know, one of the, the fruit and nut mixes or fruit mixes, and a coffee, you know, you've got your one of your apple energy drinks you could have as well. Then sort of, you know, middle of the day you could have, you know, maybe the tea and some of the rest of the biscuits and some more of the nuts and stuff like that. Um, what else did you get? Oh, you've got, you know, say that for dinner, you know, and your other apple drink sort of thing. Mm. So it wouldn't be a lot of food, but you could spread it out if need be. Um, that's what I like about these, it's not just like one meal, it's like sort of three small meals. And um, what else have we got to have a look at? We've just got the chewing gum, which I will, will try. Just normal gum though, uh, this is spearmint, yep. It's refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want me to say? Um, and of course, finally, we've got the wet wipe <laughs> as well. So, nice big wet wipe. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. We've certainly enjoyed eating it. We're going to finish these little bits off now. This has been a single meal ration pack. Menu number nine from the British Army. I've been Tom. Candice has been filming. Yep. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Get in the comments. Let us know what you think. You've had this one before. Let us know if you'd like to see more ration pack reviews. Until next time. Cheers. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye bye.